Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. It's Monday and I'm starting off this week with a little mini wardrobe reorganisational session. I just found last week that dressing for like the summer heat, my wardrobe, the current layout wasn't particularly working very well for me. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a rejig today. Don't think I'm going to have a clear out, although as I am moving stuff around, if I see something that I know either A, no longer fits, or B, I just don't want or need anymore, then of course I will clear it out. The only category which I feel like I do need a mini clear out is my handbags, because I know I've got some designer handbags in there that I barely ever use, and it just seems a bit of a shame to have them when I could actually sell them and then buy something that I will use. So that's plan of action for today. I'm gonna to set you guys up and you can watch me in high speed <laughs> reorganize my wardrobe. Fun times. Right, before I get started with the high speed, I've decided to show you guys a before. So if we look in this side, up here, I've got quite a lot of knitwear that realistically I do not need for the next two, potentially three months. Loads of tops, t-shirts, shirts and things, and then obviously my ginormous denim and trouser collection, well the majority of which is denim. This I would like to move and I would like to have it on clippy hangers, which is what I have in that box there. Thank you Amazon Prime. Um, so this is going to kind of have a bit of a re-switch, so I'd like to move these over here, which is where my hefty blazer collection is, and potentially move my blazers down there. I haven't quite decided yet, I'm going to have a bit of a play around and then of course all my handbags I need to go through these and it, oh my god look at that, like it is disgusting that I'm keeping my handbags like that so I need to just have a full on rejig, a potential clear out of handbags and just figure out a much better way for me to keep everything looking neat, tidy and organised. Too. Likes having a mooch. You alright? What are you doing? Boris? Hello? Yes. So, I've created quite the mess thus far. I've done a bit of a switcheroo already. Moved the blazers from in here up onto the top rail there. They're actually too long to go on that bottom rail, which is where I originally wanted them. Um, and because most of those are steamed, I kind of wanted to keep them pristine. So I've moved tops down to the bottom because I kind of iron them or steam them as and when I need them. Normally I only wear t-shirts anyway, so they don't really need ironing or steaming. So that's that first step done. Now I need to move on to this one. So these are the little clippy hangers, just a standard clippy hanger that you get in most shops that I bought off Amazon Prime and then all my bags which are just sort of scattered around um, I need to kind of go through and then figure out how I'm gonna put them back in there organized so the next step is to get my trousers and jeans hung the reason I'm doing this is because I found that Whenever I put them on, I have an awkward crease here, and as I'm not the biggest fan of ironing, I would just like to eradicate that task from my life. pretty chuffed with how these are looking now this is my new favorite wardrobe 
Look at that denim. That is one of the most satisfying sights I have ever seen in my life. Um, and also, I promise you, there is a difference between these jeans here. There really is. Different shapes, different lengths, all that jazz. So I've had a fiddle about. I've had a little rejig with the handbags. I've kind of... You guys probably won't understand the order of them, but I can assure you they are in an order that I understand. So frequently used here, another couple of frequently used bags here, down there, my two Loewe basket bags, Dragon Diffusion bag, other sort of summery basket bags, little bags, and then these are all just kind of done by size. So I feel like that is a vast improvement, especially for denim, because now not only am I not gonna have that sort of midway crease, but I just feel like I can see the denim better like this, because how I would start an outfit when I'm getting dressed is usually with my denim. So yes, that is much better for me. Now, over here, in the second wardrobe, and also for anyone that's wondering, my dresses are kept in the spare bedroom in the wardrobe that we have in there. So I've got uh, blazers and knitwear and just a couple of little slip skirts on the end there just because they're quite long so that's where they had to go. Uh, denim and just normal fabric shorts and skirts on the end of the tops. Now the tops are on my bendy rail which you can see the uh, extent of the bend when I come down here. I'm not too fussed about that to be honest because the reason it's bent is because of all of this hefty denim. This denim is now going to work its magic on that rail which is grand. But yeah all in all I'd say that is a job well done. Oh, let's just admire this one one last time. Yes. Yes, Emma. I love you. Hello, everyone. Yep, we have workmen in the house. I really hope you can hear this. <laughs> Um, we're not having anything exciting done, we're just having some damp proof input down in the basement and the front room around our bay window because we had a damp issue. So we're having that resolved while it's summer and while it's hot so that everything can dry and air out. Um, now today I am dressed ready. I'm about to head off in about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to, I'm really excited about this actually because I'm going to Selfridges, which of course is exciting in itself, but I'm going to meet the founder of a new denim brand, which is a sustainable denim brand. The brand is called Boyish. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that before, but I'm going to meet Jordan, who is the founder, and he's going to just take you through the collection, and I'm just going to kind of, I was going to say grill him, I'm not going to grill him, but I'm going to ask him some questions about sustainability, and you know, maybe he can give some tips and tricks, so I'm going to take you guys with me, but before we head off, I will of course show you guys what I'm wearing on this very fine sunny day. You'll notice there's no blazer here because it is sweltering. It's about 26 degrees outside, which I know isn't sweltering for lots of you, but for us British, that's pretty damn warm. Um, so I've got my usual Cinco necklaces on, which I've been wearing these for a couple of weeks now. I just really like this combo. Uh, this T-shirt is old actually. So therefore sustainable. This is a year or two old, I think. Um, it's organic cotton and that was from Mango. Uh, bag, vintage Louis Vuitton croissant. And the jeans are redone. I can't remember what these are called. I think they're redone straight legs. Can't quite remember, but I'll link this exact pair down below it if they are still available, because again, these are quite old as well. And then my shoes are navy espadrilles from Castaner. These are the lower heeled ones. I can't remember what heel height it was. Six centimetres, I believe. Um, I've also tried something new with my hair, which I think this side is a bit better. Can you see that? It's kind of like this weird, well not weird, but like quite, quite kind of like a laid back 
like beachy wavy vibe so I'll show you guys how I achieved that later on because right now I need to go and down like a pint of water because I'm going to get on the tube and it's like <sighs> Hello everyone, I am coming to you from the Selfridges Dome Studio fitting room Oh, and I have got one, two, three pairs of boys jeans I've literally just spent the last mm, half an hour chatting to Jordan who is the founder of boys jeans and he is probably one of the most interesting people I have ever met in my life. So informative about his denim brand. I wish I could have filmed a bit more about our conversation, but I'm in Selfridges and the pop-up for Boyish is literally right in the center of the denim studio. So there is so much music, but you guys are gonna see me trying on some Boyish jeans. I've got three here to try, so let's get stuck in. Right, this is the first pair, and I'm sorry, you guys can see this bench randomly just pushed in the centre of the fitting room. It's because my door is broken. I have to wedge this against the door so that my door doesn't just fly open. Anyway, back to the jeans. These are the Tommy. They're a high-rise straight leg, and Jordan was just telling me if there are any tall girls out there, like me, these are the best style to have because they have the longest legs. These are a 32 in inseam. Most of the other styles from the boyish brand are a little bit more cropped or they're a shorter inseam so if you are looking for something that's a bit longer then these are perfect. Um, now they're a light wash which I love. Oh my god they fit like the dream. They absolutely do. I really like the fit on the bum. They're a nice leg shape like you guys know me and my love of a straight leg jean. I'm all over these. <sighs> absolutely incredible love them right now I've got the second pair on I can't actually remember what these are called but they are essentially like a tighter fitting at the top and then more of like a straight leg toward the bottom but a little bit wider than the ones I just had on a minute ago and they're cropped with like a frayed hem at the bottom and again I really like these really like the fit bum is nice again I feel like these would be a really good pair of jeans to have maybe with like this navy t-shirt and my espadrilles because it kind of shows off a little bit more around the ankle kind of detail right third and final pair that I'm trying on today so these I think are called the Toby maybe I think I'm not sh quite sure but I'll uh, make sure that everything is listed down below in the description box these are kind of like <laughs> It's really difficult to move around this bloody bench, but these are kind of like a, a carrot leg, so they taper down towards the bottom. And what's cool about these is that you can roll them up at the bottom, so you can kind of cuff them, which I'm going to do now so that you guys can see. Right, so I've just cuffed one cuff so that you guys can see the kind of difference these are definitely more of a relaxed jean like there's a bit more room here more of a sort of comfy jean you know i'm always talking about comfy jean the sort of jeans you can go out to lunch in um but they're again quite a high waist they've all got this like button-up closure as well like the sort of traditional denim closure which i really like yeah i think it's uh I think it's a thumbs a thumbs up for boyish jeans. Good morning everyone. It's now Saturday. I almost forgot what day it was. I was like, what day is it? It's Saturday. Uh, so I got home yesterday after meeting Jordan from Boyish Jeans at Selfridges. And the journey home was just a bit hot and sweaty because I was coming home right at the start of rush hour. So I was in amongst a lot of people and I didn't get a seat on public transport. So I was just hot and sweaty and gross. So I came home, chilled out on the sofa for a little bit. Um, Simon had done a bit of tidying because downstairs, I'll show you in a little bit, the work has started in the front room. And when I left yesterday to go to Selfridges, there was so much dust and if we just rewind back to the time when our kitchen was being done you guys know how I feel about dust and I know it's one of those things that's unavoidable but I literally it drives me crazy um so he'd done a little bit of tidying before I got home so there was no dust to stress me out 
Um, so yeah, I sat on the sofa, I watched, uh, or we watched together, Coco Gauff, um, who is the US tennis player, the latest sensation. She's 15 and she is blowing my mind. I actually cannot get over the fact that she's 15. She's insane. Like a proper little inspiration to women everywhere, young and, I was gonna say old, young and not so young. Um, so yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Now today, I've just had a shower. It's quite early actually, because me and Simon are, uh, I can't see the clock, but I reckon it's about 20 past seven. Me and Simon have got to go and film some last minute like cutaways for a video that's going up tomorrow. By the time you guys are seeing this, you will have already have seen it. So it's the vintage handbag collection video. And we're just going to shoot in some like little cutaway sections to show the bags in action. And yeah, that's plan of action today. So I've just had a shower because I remember I said to you guys yesterday about showing you how I did that hair style that I had yesterday, that little more like surf wavy kind of style. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I've just washed my hair. I use Bumble and Bumble. I can't remember what the name is, but I will pop it on screen now. Maybe I'll film a little vlog cutaway. So those are the shampoo and conditioner that I use. And I feel like that does help with creating like beachy waves. It's cruelty free as well, by the way. And now I'm just gonna rough dry my hair and then I'll pick you guys up in a minute to show you how I create that sort of wavy, crimpy texture. Right, hair is now dried. As you can see, my hair goes quite fluffy when I dry it with a hairdryer. I would normally always, always leave my hair to naturally dry, but because we have to leave the house in about 45 minutes, I've had to dry it with a hairdryer. Uh, my hair normally takes about four to five hours to naturally dry and it does dry with a wave. Whereas as you can see, when I dry it um, with a hairdryer, it will dry straight. I do flip my head upside down as well, just to get a bit of extra volume, especially when I'm creating like surfy beachy waves. You just want a little bit of volume in there. Um, now, what did I put in? I put in some hair oil, again, which is by Bumble and Bumble. And I used a GHD, uh, heat protection spray. GHD is not cruelty free, however, um, I have the heat protection spray and I wanted to use it before finding a cruelty free alternative. So if anyone's got any cruelty free alternatives for heat protection spray, and also if it has some UV protection in there as well, that would be an added bonus because hair also needs UV protection. So leave those recommendations down in the comment section below. Um, now, yes, hair, the styling. I'm gonna try and put you guys down, but this is such a dodgy area for me to film. We're gonna end up with lots of double chins here as well, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first section. Oh, by the way, I should mention what tools we're using. So this is just a GHD uh, hair straighteners. Don't know if it's got a specific name, just GHD gold. These are my straighteners of choice. Um, so I'm just going to take quite a big section, mainly from the top, and then I'm going to twist it like this. Not super, super tight, just so that it falls to about this kind of area. Take your straighteners and then clamp for a few seconds and then clamp and basically move your way down the whole section of hair. <laughs> the whole of your twirl what we want to do and once you're done I leave the end of it as well leave it like that and then move on to your next section I find this is quite a good sort of lazy girls way of creating like a nice beachy texture because this is actually done in about five minutes it's super super quick you can do sections really really thick the thicker the section the longer you should really leave the straightener on each little sort of inch of hair though so once you've finished doing all of your little pieces, then you can start to separate, run your fingers through, and you'll start to see like the crimpy effect. And you can take like the sections out and redo them if you want. But I kind of like, you know, the sort of uneven natural haphazardness of it and there we go 
look at that. Now, my hair tends to stay in all day, even with the hair oil on it. If your hair tends to drop, if you've got really thick and heavy hair, you might want to put some styling cream in this before you do the styling. So if you've got styling cream or a mousse maybe might be better, just so that this would keep its hold. Um, I wouldn't put hairspray on it, but what I am gonna do is add a bit of texture powder just to give it like extra scrunch. So the texture powder that I'm using is from And Other Stories and oh it's uh, coming out everywhere that's because it's undone and then what i do with this this is like a pump and spray you can get ones that are a bit like a salt and pepper shaker but i'm just going to lift up a section and whoo, poof 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 just add a couple of poofs and then just ruffle it in scrunch it in no texture powder is not everyone's cup of tea it's quite an acquired feel an acquired texture if you will but i like it and it gives a really beachy been dragged through a bush look right we are done for the day we went out and did all the bits and pieces we needed to do and I'm back just changed into my comfy clothes gonna attempt to do a bit of washing and then we're gonna watch gonna finish off stranger things because we've only got one episode left the finale <laughs> and then what am I gonna do and then maybe catch up on some Wimbledon as well because we've missed out so that's it for this week's vlog. I will catch you guys. We've got an IGTV coming up this week on Thursday and then I'll catch you all on Sunday. Yet again for a video that I don't know what it is yet. So I'll see you then. Bye.